Ladies and gentlemen, welcome a very special guest to the episode 103 of Super Mega Cast. We got our boy Jack Septicai over here. Hi. Hey, why, why am I on episode 103? Why did it take so long? Uh, because uh, you're in America now. You're all the way. You're all the way over in Scotland or wherever. We can't get you on if you're over there. That's true. Well, we could over Skype, but we don't know how to set that up. So. That's <laughs> and, it, and it just sounds bad. Yeah, it's a lot of Usually. work. That's true. Unless I can't you record your... yourself, and then we can use your audio. But, but his then is gonna sound better. A lot of, yeah, yeah, but now I can touch it. you. Yeah, oh, he's touching me. Yeah, he's get. He, you got soft hands. Let me feel those hands. We both have very soft hands. Do yeah, you? like babies. Yeah, no, I probably have man hands. No, you got soft hands. All yeah. of us. These are hands that have not done a lot of manual. Matt, labor. stop kissing my hand. Sorry, buddy. Let me suck those toes. Yeah. Take those pumas off. Let me. We start every podcast by sucking our guests' toes. Okay, so can you take your shoes off, please? Yeah. Ryan, you get right foot. I get left foot. Okay. No, you socks. both get the same foot. All oh, right. that that pinky's going out wide. Pick, pick your favorite toe. Okay, he just he literally just kissed my toe. I Ryan did. is like in a different room right now. <laughs> For Gross, good reason, because right? he's hmm. contaminated. That was like garlicky. I shouldn't have actually kissed your toe. I wasn't. <sighs> I committed to the bit. You did. It's not even a visual podcast. I, I don't know why you did it. I know. No one could even see that I actually put my mouth against. You could have just said you licked the how, tip. Then how? How would you do? Why did you do it? For myself. Because he's a so whore. Oh. So when I listen back to this when I'm like 50, I'll be like, Hey, I, remember, I actually did kiss his toe. <laughs> hey guys. 50 year old Matt listening. Remember when IMDb I did that? Facts for remember, remember when you're 50 and then you'll suddenly realize all the stuff Brent has been saying. Yeah, he's right. He's walking around. Hey guys. Hey, what you wearing? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey, uh, is it daylight savings time? <laughs> you were here a bit late. Yeah, it's like Brent. I got it's. I'm supposed to be here at ten. I got here at ten fifteen. No one else is here. I'm the first one here, Brent. Why you? Why you giving me giving me the shit? And then Brent goes, hey, you get a raise hey, for seventy million dollars. Yeah, they put Ooh. you on blast whenever you get here past noon and shit on yeah. uh, Twitter. Yeah, they do. They put me on blast today, but I even was actually, Ninja Sex Party comes in. I saw that they're they're blasting me for getting to work late, but I had a valid reason that day, which I don't even remember anymore. You so know what? They they need more stuff to fucking talk about. On if the, that's all the they Twitter? tweet about, then like nothing's going on in their life. So I mean, what have they done? I mean, they released a new album. Boof. Woohoo! You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, good for them. Wow, another another album. I think this wow. one premiered on Billboard or something. Ooh, Billboard. Do something different, NSP. Jesus know, Christ. Just, Where's your book? Original. I mean, do, do do what we did. Start out as a Let's Play channel, then continue being kind of a Let's Play channel and, and, and go into other stuff and upload less and less as, as time goes on. And then yeah. realize something that's not even gameplay is actually more popular than anything else you do. Which is weird because that's how it used to be and now it's kind of going back to that except it's more of a show-based thing instead of like... I, I, don't, I still don't think sketches... Like, mm -hmm. it's it's a good way to go. Do you guys know what you're doing? Uh, we're just kind of shitting in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good saying. I'm just shitting in the dark over here. <laughs> I'll find a hole eventually. Yeah. I'll, dig. I'll dig my own. Oh, man. But, like, uh, Sean? Can I call you Sean? No. Jack? <laughs> don't call, call me. No, don't call me that either. Okay, well, what does your manager want us to call Italian you? Italian man? Just to make sure. That Estevan. 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 All right, okay. Estevan, it's good to have you in the podcast, brother. Estevan Septicai. Uh, we're, we're so happy we could finally get you out here. It took 103 episodes, but we're happy to have you. And uh, today we got some very special things we want to talk about. So, okay, can I ask you, a, I don't want to get political at all, but can I just, what is it like looking across the pond? Awful. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. It's like a fucking circus. <laughs> it it's is. It's here, too. It's like, you guys are all like, some people over here hate Trump. It's like, yeah, everybody in Europe fucking hates him. Dude, I'm hoping that his wife divorces him during the presidency, because that would be, like, I'm watching this like I would watch the Jersey Shore or something like that. Like, it's oh. like... It's rather entertaining, and it's just kind of just—it's goofy because no one tells the truth. Yeah, no I don't—I well, don't want to say no every European shit. hates him, but everyone I talk to is just like, yeah, he's just—it's not even like it's not even an educated like hate. It's just like he's a fucking idiot. But did you? Yeah. Did no you one see, knows what's going on. Have you seen how like with, with Melania how she'll like he'll say something publicly, and then the next day she'll say like the opposite. <laughs> when he, when she did that like, recently, didn't she? Yeah, with uh, LeBron. LeBron. Big dumb dumbass LeBron James. LeBron James, the biggest basketball dumbass. You're <laughs> <laughs> gonna say like you're misquoting. Him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I guarantee you know why they don't split up. I bet. I bet there was like a prenup written when uh, before that. I was like, you have to 
stay together, at least the presidency, and then maybe she'll get like a payout. But then after she that. could become an icon on the left if she did it. She could also she she I guarantee and she could run for president. <gasps> oh, it would be like Donald House of cards. Melania, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, that would take it to the next. That level. That would be great. I think that's the only way politics can redeem itself. See, this is what I'm talking <laughs> about. When you look across fledged. the water, and this is the conversation you're having, because <laughs> it's the only conversation that makes sense. I'm not gonna be like. Okay, what is Trump gonna do for trades and, and it's like, uh, imports? This is this is why it's so popular to talk about it. We're gonna get big trains <laughs> and improv imports, Donald. Im imports. <laughs> <laughs> I know lots about the train deficit. It's the, it's the trade deficit, Mr. President. The, the choo what? Choo. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm double downing. What? What are you stop? <laughs> double down. <laughs> I'm double downing. Uh, yeah, but. I, I can't, she's gonna write a book one day, I bet. Melania, just make billions. A tell off all, that. a tell all. But it's all about Baron and how good he is at Fortnite. <laughs> I wonder if I've been killed by Baron in Fortnite. <laughs> I wonder if that's your book. It's a possibility. How Baron Trump killed me. <laughs> um, a story by Ryan McGee. How Baron got a sick W. <laughs> he got a battle royale. I used wood instead of brick. Wood's too cheap to build with. At first start. He, he, he had just has like insane breakdown tactics. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it just said he should have built. I know. Here's the thing about should've Baron built Trump. With brick or steel. If he plays, if Baron Trump plays Fortnite. You know he he can get like every skin he wants. He can get like you know like he's like he asks he asks Melania for the card, and I bet he has his own credit card just for Fortnite. The he presidential card. Yeah, he he uses like campaign funds for Fortnite skins and shit. <laughs> I'm surprised there hasn't been a Donald Trump like skin in Fortnite. It'll happen. I'm sure it'll happen. Or maybe they, do they try to avoid politics in Fortnite? Their skins are very generic. Yeah, they they try to avoid any sort of like. This is exactly what it is. They don't want to get sued. Yeah. They even had like superheroes and some kind of looked like Wonder Woman, but it was just enough to not be it. Yeah, the only thing they've done really branded was the Thanos stuff, right? The Thanos? Thanos. 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 It's pronounced Sorry, Thanos. Thanos. Thick Thanos. Justin always corrects me. I was playing Halo with him last night and he, I was like, Thanos? He's like, Thanos? Who the fuck is Thanos? How's it pronounced? Thanos. 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 Gaming. What? How do you not know that? <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> he plays prop one in GTA 5. I'm Thanos. I'm going to make everyone go, oop, bye bye. I was playing a prop hunt game in Halo 5. Like it's in their action pack playlist. Like and, the Forge? But you can't play it like realistically because you press X and the way they have it set up is like you're quote unquote driving a mongoose, but you enter into like a traffic cone or a pallet or something. Except. Every item, when you transform into it, the headlights turn on. So when people are hiding in something, it's just blaring headlights. So people just kind of... It's pretty It's obvious. really dumb and broken. <laughs> and like, what's going on? And, but the rounds last like three minutes, and there are like three or four. So it's just like, oh, well, I'm in here for 12 minutes. <laughs> I remember my dad. My dad had a pickup truck. In Halo? <laughs> my dad had the sickest Warthog. Fortnite skin. <laughs> and uh, you, could, you couldn't like turn the headlights off at all. Even when it was on, or like when even like when you turned the car on, the headlights turn on. My dad would always get upset about that, and I didn't really. I was like, "Are you doing like drug deals in the desert where you gotta like have the lights off? Why? Why does it matter, Daddy?" <laughs> Matt, that's a <laughs> what? That's, that's a good story. <laughs> like, I was trying. I was that's trying, a real good story. Wait, you called your dad, Daddy. Like I still to, call him Daddy. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't call my dad. Did daddy. you call him Daddy in that instance? No, that, I never call my dad Daddy. That, I call my parents that. Like mommy and both daddy. Both your mom and your dad, you call your mom daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey daddy, and both of them turn around like, what the fuck? Oh, I thought you meant me. No, mommy that, that was the an impression of your mom. Yeah, it's pretty good. She has a deep voice. She does. She doesn't Strange have the Irish enough. accent either. No. no. Your parents have that thick Irish accent? Yeah. Too Real much. Thick? Can't understand. Oh, super thick. Do they speak Irish? No. Is it like that video where you look up where it's like the like What's that Irish accent? There's a YouTube video about it, and you can't understand a thing that these people are saying, but they're speaking English. It's just in a very heavy Irish or Australian accent. Jamaican, maybe? <laughs> An Irish or Australian accent. They're interchangeable. It could be anything. Wait, oh. if you got a real, like, I, oh, I, I, am I? I'm like, what did you say? There's that video of that Australian get a drink, guy. Mate. <laughs> like chasing the uh, chasing like the uh, dust devil on the de in the outback, and you can't hear anything. He's like, <laughs> just can't understand it. Is that racist to Australians? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, <laughs> you're gonna dig I'm a not hole. Gonna I'm not, you know, because comedy always works on escalation. I'm like, if I work in escalation on this subject, it'll just turn to straight racism. Yeah, you're yeah, you're, you're pretty, much, you're pretty much there. I don't want to toe the line, but I do want to stand on it and have a good time. Let's uh, <laughs> I do want to look and see everybody else judging me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see your outrage there. <laughs> Wave down below. Hey, how's it going? Shut up! <laughs> you're racist. Maybe. 
<laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you do nowadays. Like, actually, it's it's strange how, I don't know, certain, it's like YouTube, it used to matter. Like, you know, you're, you'd be afraid of getting your channel taken down. But now I feel like a lot of people are getting away with it. Like, Keemstar's still doing his thing. Yeah. A lot of people who have done Keemstar was done on Jimmy stuff, Fallon. It, it's taken a lot to get on a, that is true. He, he, he did find Fallon. a dollar in the woods, so. He did, he found a, they played that on Jimmy it was Fallon. Like I mean, they did straight. make fun of him endlessly for it, so. They didn't. They take the video down though, when they realized like who Keemstar was. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Guess what? what? Guess what? I saw last night. Speaking of finding things, um, I saw the Bang Bus last night. Drove by. More like a Bang Van, right? Yeah, yeah it's a van. It's not. Bang, it's not a real bus. A boogie Van. They just call it a Bang Bus. It's a van, but it's like. Uh, I saw it. I, well, I was I was getting the left lane to turn, and it drove by. My friend was like, "Is that the fucking Bang Bus?" Because I had a big sticker on the back, so I swerved and I I went like. 60 behind it to try to catch up. Wasn't Vados? What's his name? Thanos? Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thanos was it. Thanos just sitting nervously in between two naked women. Oh. Just like, <laughs> that's how Ooh. Thanos sounds. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> as as all things should be. <laughs> Esteban, will you pass my water next to you with the red cap? The, uh, what, the, what's the dude that vinegar. was on the bang bus? That, There's a like, lot of dudes on the bang bus. That whipped his cock around. He was a YouTuber. He was like, I can't get Oh, Vitaly? I can't get Yeah. Vitaly I was of him. Wait, wait, what's Vita is that how you say it, Vitaly? I accidentally said just Vatos. Vatos. Va <laughs> he, uh, he's the guy who did the, the Hollywood sign too, isn't he? Did he? No, no, no. He climbed what? the Hollywood sign and got arrested. Yes. That was that was the correction. There's a store in Hollywood called Hollyweed. And it There's a show called Hollyweed now with Kevin Smith. Really? There's a lot of weed shows coming out, like the one where it's like weed cooking. There's a bunch of weed cooking shows coming out. Oh, yeah. There's one on, on Netflix. Netflix. I, love the, I love the intro I showed you, Matt. Yeah, you showed it like, to me. It's like... <laughs> Weed. Uh oh, marijuana. <laughs> this isn't your mother's <laughs> cooking <shit>. show. <laughs> yeah, An exactly. old '90s radio show. It just sounds like that. It's like I get it. Okay, we get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's um, move on. Let's move on to like meth. Did I uh <laughs> like a meth cooking show? Oh yeah. <laughs> they, they just sprinkle little. It's like, it's like a cupcake with a little bit of meth sprinkled on top. You do meth, right, Sean? Oh, all the time. That's um, how you get through the day. How else can I get through my videos? Exactly. Absolutely. Do you guys? Uh, yeah, that's how you turn it on. I don't know if I uh. Have I brought up that I got that I got inked up yet? To bring that up on a podcast, Matt Watson has a tattoo now. Woo! Yep. Whoa! Womp womp! I got myself uh, one big portrait of Ryan's face on my back. Change your panties, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a Simpsons tattoo. That sounds real. Fathers, lock up your sons. Matt Watson's on the town. I wouldn't say it like that. I, I'd say more like... Uh, sons, lock up your fathers? Yeah. <laughs> sons, you heard my rap. Lock up your fathers, guys. <laughs> he, he also got the blood of his mother in the ink. I did. I, so there's I, a piece of her with him. I, I mean, it's a bit weird because it's family blood anyway. I don't know why you I know. I already had my way. mom's blood, but when my mother passed a couple weeks ago, I, I asked the, the mortician, I was like, can you give me all of her blood? So they gave it to me, actually. There's a lot of, there's a lot of blood in the human Some body. Some of her cremated ashes as well. I got the I got the ashes, mix it with the blood, make a nice little paste. Did you snort some of it? Uh, the ashes, yes. I had a terrible asthma attack from it. But I, I'd like to think that was my mom, you Pussy. know, give me a smack on the head. Like, don't do that, silly. Yeah. You know, she's, she was always doing that. Yeah, big up, mom. I love you, mommy. Mom, what? Well, we just, it was funny because earlier we were talking about do I call my dad daddy. I do call my mom mommy still. I do call you? her up. I say, hey, mommy. Okay. Actually, hey, do mommy. you do that ironically, though? Yeah, yeah, yes, I, yesterday I went, hello, mommy, when, when she picked up yeah. the phone. I can't, anytime you say anything, I can't take you seriously anyway. So. A deep voice makes her kind of... We're not talking about my mom sorry, like this, Ryan. Sorry, I just, I just... Yes, I know, but we're not talking about it. Okay. We're not talking about anything related to my mom. That's fine. And your relationship Can I meet Matt Momsen? Matt Mom, that's her name. Matt, Matt Momsen, mother of Matt Watson. Matt, I want to meet her, is she hot? Matt Sonson. She, she looks hot? like him. She's pretty hot, yeah. She looks just like Matt with long hair. So very hot. That's actually my sister looks just like me with long hair. Well, your sister Super looks hot. like your mom. Yeah, and my mom looks like my sister. Super and your mega mom looks hot. like your dad. So. Are you guys incestual? Yes. From South Carolina, Sean. That's true. Definitely incestual. Ryan, I wonder how far back you have to go until you and I are related. Somewhere <laughs> along the line. <laughs> Two generations. To Africa. Somewhere. To Africa. Maybe, maybe before that, you know? Mm. To Africa. You know, you have Dutch in you, right? Have you guys ever I done your Dutch. your ancestry tests? No, I looked at my sisters tubes? and I was like, that's pretty much the same, right? Yeah. My sister's from the same mom and dad. Yeah. But but I know that there's like some genes that can be different. That you know of. What if you're adopted? I could be. Uh, I, it was totally plausible uh, that I'm adopted. I don't think I look like my dad at all. What, what if you're like from like Bolivia or something like that? That'd be fucking sweet. Where's, where's Botswana? I don't know. Do you know where Tijuana is? Yeah. Where? Mexico. Damn it. Let's uh let's quiz, let's quiz them on some geography. Now you just need to watch a movie from the nineties. Where Tijuana, Mexico is. 
Don't quiz me on my geography. I did an episode of that already. What country is Botswana in? I don't fucking know. That you failed because it's not it's not in a country, it's a country itself. What continent is Botswana in? I don't know. Take a guess. Why? Sean Africa. Boom. You got it. <gasps> really? Yeah. That was just based on the fact that it was like an African sounding place. All right, Ryan. What country? What? Uh, where, where is it? Where is Zanzibar? Africa. There you go. That sounds like a very African country. They have the best names over there. Zanzibar. Those countries have Chad. Sweet names. Chad. Chad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> uh, what's the bit? What, wait, which country has the biggest? My mother went to South Africa. Really? Yeah. She I went to, to Cape Town. Is that in Johannesburg? No. Yeah, is it's it? where District Nine is. Yeah, Ooh. dude, I love that movie. I, I have no idea. I'm just naming oh. shit. No, no, no. District 9 is in uh, Johannesburg. It takes place there. Was that a guess? South Africa? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. South, South Africa. Africa. Um, you guys want to take a trip to South Africa? About? I'd love to go to South Africa. That'd be such a cool place to visit. You know what else would be a cool place to visit? What? West Park. Virginia. Yes. Yeah, actually, yes. Shout out to the West Virginia. I've been to West Virginia. That place was... Very country roads exactly, take me home <laughs> exactly as you would imagine. Mama, take me home. <laughs> Wait, that's West not it. Virginia. Mommy, take me home. <laughs> take me home, mom. To the place. Take me home, mommy. Where my home? Tickle my dome in West Virginia. The classic song. Tickle my dome. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tickle my dome after this podcast? I'll take you to our dome during this podcast. I got a nice. I'm gonna sit this one out. You got a nice fucking mound of Venus going on right now. <laughs> Thank That's you. what it's called, dude. Thank Did you, you go on Wikipedia too as a kid and look up the names for all the technical parts of the um, human anatomy? I've, I've visited Reddit <laughs> mound once of or Venus. twice. No, that's what it's called. So it's called. I, I've ne I never went to Urban Dictionary that much I because mean, to me, like whenever, not, I just no, always Wikipedia. tried to actually figure out what words meant, and then it, when it always took me there, it was like, oh, I don't want to. I just remember not. a friend put me onto a, a the subreddit Mound of Venus. Which was just dedicated to all of that, and that, I was like, "You're into, you know, there's actual shit. porn out there, right?" Well, Knock some people stuff. like some people like the the Wikipedia shit. I go to Wikipedia for my porn. I look up vagina, and that's where I go. You ever do Wikipedia races? Yes, Those there's so fun. much fun. Back in school, you ever did that? Mm -hmm. Did that for a video? I'm not very good at it. Neither am I. But I Wikipedia. always like giving people like go to go from Furbies to. Nintendo 64. Furbies to Botswana, we should do it right Furbies now. to Antifa. <laughs> <laughs> we should do it right now. I wonder, just get the like two polar opposites of how, something. How, I wonder what we could do, because you just have to go into, you just have to find something in politics. You'd okay. have to find some country, like probably North America, then politics, and then yep. la, yeah, that's like actually... democratic, and then like... Uh, I wonder what has the biggest degrees of separation. What if I, what if I tried to do Furbies to Antifa right now? And see how quickly I could do it. Well, do it. We'll do a conversation, but I'll do it. Do it as you talk about your sponsor, and then you're gonna have to tell us, like, okay, let like, me let me open up Wikipedia real quick. Furby. Does mobile Wikipedia allow you to see the trail you went through to get? Um, no, but I can look at my internet history, which you guys are not allowed to look at. Uh, Furby official oh. website. I, I, I like how you say that, like you're into some like weird shit. It's like I think everyone kind of knows how fucking weird you are right now. You want to look at my? There's nothing history? on your Wikipedia search. Or on your internet search that would ever surprise me. Really? Yeah. I don't think Should anything- I surprise them? Knowing you and knowing the conversations we've had, I don't think there's anything you could ever show me that would surprise me. Wow, Sean, spilling the tea over here. Oh, I don't sure. I don't think- actually, I probably couldn't surprise you. Yeah. We've had some conversations. Alright, I'm yeah. on Furby, ready? Uh -oh. Should we talk okay. about them? I'm gonna so count the pages, though. What, I mean, what- Talk about Furbies while I do this. Talk about Furbies? Furbies did you ever own one? No, my friends did. I couldn't afford it. I feel one. like, oh, really? Okay, I mm -hmm. thought you would have been the generation after they were popular, just kind of no. like, oh. That was like right as I was growing up. Okay, because I was still pretty young when they came out. I had one that would turn on in the closet and start chirping. I hate that. Nice. It did it, that did my sister. It turned in the middle of the night and would like start speaking. I really liked it. I always put my pinky in its mouth because I liked it biting on my pinky. <laughs> did like, you ever put your Whoa. dick in it? Uh, no, because my dick was too small. Smaller than your pinky? It would have been chopped off. What if it, like, it just bit with such a force? Like it a does. fucking snapping turtle. <laughs> Have you seen, there's videos of them, like, snapping turtles, where some people just throw items at them, and they'll just, yeah. like, crush them instantly. Yep. Okay, did you ever hear the thing, like, when you were young about snapping turtles, of how, like, they'll hold on to you until it thunders or something like that? There's well, like we don't, myth. we don't have nature like that where I'm from. You have, you have sheep. They're close <laughs> to snapping turtles. Ah. <laughs> they're, they're in the same family. <laughs> snapping turtles what do you have? and you sheep. Have, you have sheep, you don't have snakes. We have cows. Do you really not have any snakes? No. Not one. I mean, a lot of Europe doesn't have snakes. Okay, I'm currently on the Wikipedia page for fascism. 
Oh, okay. Already? Yeah. Neo fascist, post fascist. Well, trying. I feel like you're in the fucking, you're in the neighborhood now. You just need to yeah, find that. You're very close. You need to find that postcode. Keep going. I'll, I, I want to read my my trail to you guys. Uh, uh, when you're done. When I'm done. Yeah. When you're done, because that's that's how we judge this thing, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I have a bit of a tension headache. So. Do you want to want to hit the jewel? Oh, it's fine. That would make it worse. Okay. Well. If, um, sure. If you're, what if what you're do you need, Ryan? Uh, ibuprofen, maybe some Tylenol or Advil, and some water. Just go get some. Just need to hydrate. Do you want some? Go I got some. I got some uh, Evian water right here. Sponsor. Would you like to uh, suck that down? It's actually this. This that great poupon that Evian. That TED Talk. It's not real Evian water. It's uh, Evian. Evian. I say it's actually. I refilled it when I was at my place, so it's not actual. With like, tap. No, with a out of a crystal geyser bottle. I just realized you said you have a tension headache. I thought you said, I have an attention headache. Mm -mm. Like, I'm not getting enough attention, I have a headache, please talk to me. You gotta rub his head. Oh no. Pamper I'm him, just... make him feel good. Do you guys realize the last time we recorded something together, and the only time we recorded something together? Yes, that was, was two years ago. Was when, right after VidCon? Oh my god, 2016. And we were, we were all kind of drunk, and everyone- I wasn't, because ev I was underage. Everyone saw- Jackbox, right? Drawful. Drawful. Which is in Jackbox, right? It's um, same company, but it's not- We just not It's a game in the Jackbox yeah. party. The first one, but they made it like its own separate game, I think. But everyone thought I hated you because I was so mean. And I talked like this. I remember of... that. It's like, wow, Sean seems not like himself in this Is one. He Does sad? he hate the guys? I can't, I can't wait to hear the ones after this now. He's like, he's so quiet. What's, what's wrong with him? Are they, you okay? They didn't, they didn't seem to mesh well. What's going on? He Sean, mentioned okay? Antifa. Is he okay? <laughs> are you part of it? LA is changing him. LA is changing him. Oh, uh, so, okay. Uh, I'm surprised it's taken this long. Like, this, I thought, I thought when, when, once he said fascism, I was like, oh, he's going to get it in like two minutes. Oh, you know what? I need to go to the Italian fascism page because uh, Antifa is started uh, as an Italian thing. Okay. Okay. So glad this is a thing that's happening right now. Listen, I'm trying, guys. This is like, I, I got to. This is quintessential super mega Gotta go from Furbies right to Antifa. Uh, yeah. Trotskyists. See, that's, that's how I know how to play to you guys' strengths. As soon as I mentioned Antifa, Matt was like, do you want, do you want me to do it? <laughs> I, I knew what he wanted to hear. <laughs> Far left political parties. Oh. <clears throat> is it? It's not a political it's not party, a though. It's not a party. It's, it's a... What would you call it's it? It's just a group. It's an organ. It's not an organization. I'm, I'm saying a... nothing, because I'm going to be completely wrong, because I have no idea. <laughs> you know what? As he's doing that, I got a confession to make, which you probably heard hints of earlier in this podcast, people. What is it? I've just been drawn into Fortnite recently. I actually started. Oh playing. shit! I've actually started playing it. I know. I, I actually was looking at it for the longest time. Like I'm never gonna play that stupid fucking game. It, that was the exact same way I was. And, and then I then I played with friends, and then that's what kind of spinned me on it. Yeah. Because it's like I also use it to kind of uh, play Xbox Live with like a friend who lives back in South Carolina. So mm -hmm. like, that's how I get with that. But also, just. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. It is. It's a pretty what's, fun What surprises game. me is that I play it all the time, uh -huh. and I, I really like it, and I used to be a big PUBG player. Yeah. And then I got into that, and, like, I, I understand where people are coming from, and I get in why they say what they say, and I was the same when I looked at oh, it. Oh, yeah. Like, that like, does it's not, not a, look fun. It's not a masterpiece, or it's no. not, like, it's... I don't think it's anything really different. I just think it got a formula down. Yeah, and it's very, like... Like it has the ADD stuff down. It's just enough time to let let you not get bored. New skins every day. New challenges every day. New yeah. seasons every ten weeks. Thanos. Woo! <laughs> I love Thanos. Thanos. But as Pronounced popular Thanos. as popular as the game is, every time I talk to people, like I don't play Fortnite. Like none of the people I know, apart from you, actually play it. I know, which but, is so bizarre. But the, well, it's always kind of like I'm afraid to bring it up. Because, like, then it's like, oh, you're one of those gamer people. You yeah. Know, you don't play, like, actual so games. Like, you play Fortnite. It's like Bob kind of plays it, and Critical plays it, and I've played with them a few times. Bob plays PUBG more, doesn't he, though? Yeah. He still plays PUBG. He still likes PUBG more, but, like, everyone I meet in person is like, I don't play it. I, I mean, see Bob streaming PUBG every now and then. I'm like, ooh, look at this. <gasps> look, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at this nice fella go. There's Mars Gums. <laughs> plays PUBG. Mars Gums. <laughs> This is really hard, guys. Man, how have you not? I am disappointed. Okay, right stop now. this because you're not it's contributing not to the, to the Okay, I'm sorry. I got the anti Marxist. Can I... you go from Antifa to Furbies? Probably. That'd be That way would easier. be much harder. I bet I can do that in less than two minutes. No, stop. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, it's just like, how can I not talk at all during this podcast? Yeah, I'm Matt contributing. Watson. I'm doing a game. I'm gaming right now. <laughs> are you a real gamer? I'm a real gamer. Fuck. You guys are talking games. I'm gaming right now. On What's my your phone? KD and Wikipedia race? Uh, how many wins you got? Six. 
Sick. You know, I got chicken dinner twice on PUBG Mobile in a row. Eight kills each round. Yeah, well, PUBG Mobile is full of bots, so. <laughs> well, do you have to take this from me, dude? Yeah. You really have to I'm sorry I'm not a pro gamer like you, but do you have to take this from me? Yeah. I was so excited. I've I never gotten a chicken dinner or a fucking, what is it? Victory chicken Royale. Royale. <laughs> chicken Royale. <laughs> <laughs> a Royale with cheese. I haven't gotten a battle. Is it, it's not called Victory Royale. That's what it's called yeah. in PUBG, right? It's number yeah, one, Victory Royale. Royale. Yeah. I bet. Uh, I've been close. I've been in like the top five a good bit. But we, we've been number two in PUBG a ton. That one game, the first one we put on the channel, we got, we got really close. Except, you know what? You know, I bet that if you did PUBG Mobile with me, we can get chicken dinner on our first try. Yeah, I I just want to I want to feel like it's earned. You know, are you saying he didn't earn his chicken dinners? I'm not Is saying that, what you're that. Saying I'm that just, I didn't earn that chicken dinner. I'm just saying I smelled it in the kitchen, man. I smelled that chicken dinner from down the hall, and I came running for it. That's big dick energy. Oh, my luck! Now that I said that, I want to make it feel earned. My first win is going to be just like. Two people getting in a fight and then they both die in the storm. Yeah, that's good. That's that's probably the only way I'm actually gonna win. Is I just have to hope hey, and pray that someone dies in the I, storm. A win that is was a win. like my like two wins ago. That was the last <laughs> one. Really? Yeah. A win is a win, guys. A win is a win is. You a win. still lasted that long. That's the thing. A win is a win. Nobody killed yeah. you. I found that circle and I ran to it. The map's not that big. I'm actually surprised that it takes a while to find people sometimes. Because yeah. I'll land in pop quote unquote populated areas. I think. And then I look around because I try to get a chest. I go to the places where chests are, but not where everyone's just going to shoot me once they land on a roof mm -hmm. type of thing. And I've the past three games I've played, I've gotten in just the top 10 and I've just been running around. I don't hide. I just run <laughs> around and I'm just looking for people. I'm like, I can't find shit. And I look at structures of, of battles once fought. I'm like, yep. They had a they had a fun time. I bet. Whenever whenever I win though, it's always because I I don't get many kills. Mm -hmm. It's like I I land somewhere far away and then I get in and then all the good players have killed each other and tilted. Yeah, and, it's and like then a like couple a, of dumbasses left over. Another player got lucky and like shotgunned a weak good player. Yeah, so now they're just camping and then you end up fighting them and they don't have any good weapons because they camp the whole. Yeah, night. I think I got one against a decent player and then the rest were like, well, you probably should have killed me. Ever got into a building battle? <gasps> No, I'm I'm not good at building. I'm good at shooting. <laughs> Dude, I was all about that Hunger Games in Minecraft. The survive the maps you could download? No, no, no. The the kind of online servers you could join in it. It was a battle royale game, but it was on Minecraft. Oh yeah. shit. And you, it was it was before all those other ones. There was PUBG the cornucopia soon. type thing where all the good stuff was, but then there were like chests out scattered more and you just went and shot people or killed people with That's a sword. The thing. It was Pu very fun. PUBG shouldn't be suing Fortnite. Minecraft should be suing PUBG. Is PUBG suing Fortnite? They were. They stopped. They stopped? They dropped that? What was mm -hmm. it for? Publicity or? They just said because they Epic has the engine that PUBG runs on. Mm -hmm. So they were helping them craft certain mechanics to help have like a hundred player server and then took some of those things and put them on Fortnite, and then they were like, hey, you helped us build these things, and now you stole them to do your own version of it. Yeah, it's just, when I think about crafting and stuff, I always think about, like, a way I could craft a better education for myself, <laughs> and you can do that. How, Ryan? With Udemy. <laughs> Udemy is the largest and most accessible online learning marketplace, with the most courses, teachers, and opportunities for students everywhere around the globe. Udemy has over 65,000 courses. How many is that, Sean? 65,000 courses? Over 65,000. Holy sh**. From coding to comic book art, available anywhere on their website and app. One thing I love about podcasting and about listening to podcasts is the learning experience. To be able to open my ideas up to others and to listen to new ideas in a space that a decade ago wouldn't have been available to me. That reminds me of another great learning tool I found the other day called... I, I already brought it in! Well, uh... I wanted to learn how to make my very own comic book, so I took the comic book art course, and guess what, Ryan? I made my own comic book, published it, and I sold two copies, and that's pretty good for me. Wowzers. I loved it, I had a wonderful teacher, it has something for everyone. You want to learn Unity, you want to learn farming, I'm sure it's on there. And whether I'm at home, at the desk, on the computer, or using their app on my phone, Udemy gives me access to new knowledge wherever I am. You people need to check out Udemy. They've helped students all over the world improve their skills, their careers, and their lives. 
Also, they've helped me set up this exclusive offer just for our listeners. <laughs> Go to ude.my slash supermega right now and get 90% off when you sign up for classes. You will not find a better price. That's underlined, guys. So sign up for classes now using our link, ude.my slash supermega. And get access to life-changing classes for 90% off. Wow. And make sure you download their app for your phone so you can stream your studies wherever you are. That's U-D-E dot M-Y slash super mega. U-D-E dot my slash super mega. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what a great ad. Okay, now we're back talking to uh, Estevan, Estevan. Septicai. Yeah, hi. Hey, guys. Hey. How's it going, buddy? What are you wearing? Uh... uh I'm wearing some uh, white Reeboks, a uh, pair of yellow Russian socks. I, my it was got a me. joke. I can see what you're wearing. Okay, well, the viewers can't, so I was going to maybe I, paint I a picture think the for them. Viewers, they can guess what I'm wearing, and they'd be right. <laughs> Actually, guess right now what I'm wearing in chat, and I'm about to say, just pause it after you guess. Okay, I'm about to say. Don't cheat. Don't be one of those fuckers who okay. goes ahead and then goes back. It's like, I got it. Okay, here we go. I'm in fact wearing a black t-shirt with black gym shorts and I wear and today I'm wearing black sandals. There it is. I, I wonder how many people got that. A lot of people. Probably. I'm actually we're all wearing all black. I just realized yeah. that. Although people are gonna say flip flops and not sandals, so a lot of people are gonna lose this one. What type oh, are you got wearing? Him. Are you wearing slides? <laughs> huh? Slides? Or is, that, is that what they are? What? Flippy floppies? Are you the, talking the type you slide, slide your foot in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're wearing That's slides, what sandals so. are. Yeah, there you go. Not flip flops, guys. Those are they can flip and flop, but they're slides. Yeah, flip so. flops uh, are has the thing between your big toe. And I hate your, that. I can't. I, do I don't that. like them. I've been wearing them recently just because they're quick to put on, like when I go to the beach or the pool or something. And they just, I think, because my feet are fucked up, so like my big toe goes underneath my uh, second toe, and it's really uncomfortable. So they're kind of already like like See, crossed this, over. This is what happens when your family is incest. Exactly. I, I'm not debating that. And and when I put my foot in, it's just very uncomfortable, and and it makes them flop extra hard. So I'm walking. It's like what it sounds like when I walk with flip flops. It does. Ooh. I've heard it. Actually, I broke my toe in a pair of flip flops, and that was kind of when I stopped wearing them. I love. I, I do like flip flops. I don't like the way they feel on my specific feet. They're they're mm. very easy, comfortable shoes. I like slides. Slides are like the flip flops of the future. They're very comfortable. <laughs> just slip them right on. Flip flops for millennials, which we just found out Matt is not a millennial. Uh, according to some definitions, I'm a Gen Z. <sighs> You're Gen Z. Gen Z. Wait, wait, are you a millennial? Yes. Yeah. Mill millennials yeah. 86, 80, 86 80 to something to 96. 86 it's when, it's when like your formative like teenage years, I think, were in 2000s. Yeah. So uh, if you're in that bracket, I think you qualify. I think I think January 1st, so 1996. I'm Gen Z? No, no, no. 96 is where Gen Z starts, according okay. to some sources. I'm a millennial. Some, some sources okay. say that. <laughs> Up top. Wow. <laughs> That was a good high wow. five, guys. I'm really proud of you. We, don't, we did it twice. Some people it's say great. that uh, Gen Z starts after 9 11 because it, it's like a separation of uh, you know uh, what? people. It's like, were that's, you born that's what or freaks after? me out. Well, it doesn't freak me out, but the thing that like a lot of people who are like actual people in society now were born after 9 11. It's weird, right? Because that's. If you, that's if you, well, that's also a very like America centric view. Oh, actually. What? Okay, millennials, Generation Y, Gen Next, that's what these people are called, are from 1980 to 1994, so I just made the cut for millennials, and then uh, Gen Z is 1995 to 2012. So I'm Gen Z. Look at me, guys. So when, so when people complain about millennials and their <sighs> fidget spinners and shit, I'm excluded from that. I am actually uh, on, on a whole Fucking new... much worse. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry, guys. I'm... Can I just say I'm a millennial? I'm what, a what, Gen What's the thing Gen Zers do? Fidget what? spinners and Fortnite. Fortnite dances. Yeah, Fortnite dances. That's a big one. <laughs> Am I a Gen Zer then? <laughs> do you know any Fortnite dances? Hell yeah. Can you do them? I can do one. Which I can one? do. I can do two. Can you do that dumb little? Yeah. Little, Let's see it. Which, Let's what, see what is it. that dance called? Oh, this what one. What is that called? I think it's what is it called? Uh, Block or? Boy or something? In, oh, no, but it's in a Fortnite, it's called hype. Hype. Okay. It's like this. It's like. Something like that. Yeah. Like, what's what's oh, the <laughs> That was good, right? Sean, He's your face was just <laughs> Yeah. Sure. 
Hey, I know my Fortnite. Wait, when dances. you do that, Matt, are you like, I'm killing it? <laughs> are you like, I'm a fucking Gen Z, I'm dude? I'm getting it. This looks exactly like how I see it, Get it online. Dude. Here's the thing: if you guys can think you're good at it, but because you're millennials and you're not Gen Zers like I am, <laughs> you're, just, you're outdated. You're, you're like you're like old people trying to relate to kids. Yeah, you're a child. Uh, yeah, that's what it feels like <laughs> around you. Okay, Sean. You know what? I'm about to bust out my bullwhip and and <laughs> slap you across the face with it. You know what Gen Zers are? They have big dick energy. Yeah, that's I, what they have. I got big dick energy. And guys. big moods. I got memes. And say that? fucked up Wait. mentalities because of social media. He said big moods, not big boobs. Okay. I'm 22 <laughs> and I'm in Gen Z. Were you calculating? I was just making sure that we were all set and good. I didn't say anything not, bad about Gen. I am part of Gen Z, Ryan, and I'm offended that you would say that. You're, but you're a child. We That's can't. another thing Gen Zers do. They're offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the fucking time. And what about it? <laughs> S- spare me your fucking feelings, dumbass. Yeah, back in my day, I would just go out and repress my shit, and then grow up to be an alcoholic. <laughs> Probably not like myself. <laughs> and then I'd go home and drink. And afterwards, I'd wake up slightly hungover. I'd go out into my day, start with a coffee. I'd start texting while driving on the on the uh, 101. And then as I'm driving, I'll look up and see a little black Fiat that just braked. I don't have enough time to brake myself, so I'll slam into the back of them. And then uh, is this what happened to you today? Yes. Are you? Is this therapy for you now? Yes. You got, you got rear-ended. How fast were they going when they rear-ended you? Do you think it was a Gen Zer who hit you? Was it they Gen were. Zier? I mean, it was on the highway, so that's pretty fucking fast. Thing is, you can't tell. My, Wait, no, no, so both of you were moving? No, I. There was a car in front of me. I braked, oh. and then all of a sudden, <laughs> like just a big old crash, and he hit me, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought the back was gonna be crumpled as fuck. Went back. The the back bumper was like slightly. I think, it's I, think durable. I think you're exaggerating what no, happened. No, remember when we got no, hit? we got we got rear-ended when we were in Ryan's car once. Like you hard. feel it. It in was that hard. Car. Like we got like a little like whiplash from that, and there was no uh, not a single mark on the car. That thing is durable. Yeah, I was like shot. Fiat five hundreds. At yeah. least from the back, they're durable. The I don't know Nokia of cars. <laughs> God, I, I don't want to see the crumple zone of a Fiat. It's probably that's something not I don't good. actually. I'm gonna or look like it up a smart now. car. I'm gonna look it up right now. Oh, I feel like I've been smart looking cars. at getting new cars. Smart. I haven't seen one of those in years. They're, I see them around all the time in California. I think smart cars are like I don't see them as much anymore. That's I'm a just, guaranteed death in like, a car accident. Yeah, like you that, can't. You are the crumple zone in a smart car. Exactly. Like there, there's no way. Or if that thing flips, it's like you're you're in like a small iron chamber getting thrown around. I just realized that smart car is like the most Irish thing I could say. Smart car. <laughs> smart car. Care. Can you do an American accent at all? <sighs> certain ones, but I can't do like a like a neutral one. Can I do like a sentence that you repeat? Can I try? Yeah. Okay. Just say like a regular thing. Can you just do your catchphrase in an American accent? Top of the morning to you, laddies. Mm, there's still mm, a bit of it. Still, in there. Yeah. How about this? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say something very just kind of like I'm trying to think. American. Of just something to say to. <laughs> I would the like one cheeseburger. Might. There's that. <laughs> there's a um. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. See, that was good. I could still hear a little Irish but that's, stank it, on that's that. the thing. It doesn't sound natural. It sounds like I'm imitating. Right? I, I can't do an Irish sounding. accent. Irish. Wait. Irish. What was that? I, I can't do. An well, Irish my, mine's accent. not very thick. Thick. There's thick. A, there's a thick. there's a thick thick. thick. Not thick. thick. It's top thick. of the morning to you, laddies. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning. <laughs> You're getting kind of Britishy. Oh, top of the fucking morning to your laddies. I'm, I'm top of the morning to your laddies. You should try like a Dublin accent. Say, oh, how's it going, boys? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you, how are you doing? That shit's hard, man. Did you have a thing before the... Whoosh, like, that was, that was really ladies. fucking that great. Was fucking I don't even awesome. need... Because in my thing, I just put in a sound effect, but I just go... Whoosh, to give like the starting point for Robin to edit it. Right. I, I don't need that if you're around. Yeah, of course. I, Jesus, I mean, I'd be dude. glad to sit like with a mic right before you do it. At the same time, you go... Like that? Jesus. That's really good. You gotta hire this guy. Ryan, you're fired from Super Mega and Game Grumps. You're gonna go work for Sean now, and you're gonna go do that sound I'm gonna do $15,000 a month. Yes. (laughs) Is there something I can do? Matt, if he offered me that kind of money... I'd have to think about it long and hard. That would definitely have to be a thinker. Yeah, I'd, that, that's that's that's. I'd not, sit down and I'd actually have to talk through it with. Yeah, you. you have to like call your mom and talk to her about this and be like. So, so if you, you wanted to make the offer, we could just have the conversation right now and get it over with. Does Ryan just stand off to the side of the camera and just go? 
Yeah, this is why you're not getting it. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> how about I? How about I? Uh, Shit. What can you do for me, Matt? <laughs> what can Matthew do for Esteban? <laughs> Mr. Esteban, what can please. What do for Esteban? Oh, little time. Can we call famous, the episode that? <laughs> I'll do my famous Barack can... Obama impression. It's spot on. Okay, do do Jacksepticeye Barack Obama. Top of the morning to you, Michelle. It's Barack Obama. That's pretty good. See? Yeah, let's do it together. Do the... <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies. It's Jacksepticeye. I don't even need a channel anymore. <laughs> I know. I don't even need to do anything. Look out, we're we're taking we're we're taking that spot, man. Look out, world. Do you think we could get Obama on the podcast? Easy. <laughs> easy. GG easy, dude. <laughs> Go back and listen to everything we've ever said. There's a lot of there's there's a lot of things in early Super Mega that Your I'm. Your boys like, seem pretty epic. Your boys are. Uh, what would Obama call you guys? Epic. <laughs> what would he call Instead us? Instead of Donnie and Arnold, what he, would Matt and Ryan be? Mark and Ryland. <laughs> Ryland. Ryland. Call me Mac. Mac and Brian. Mac and Brian from a, a hyper mega. <laughs> hyper awesome. I love those guys. <laughs> you guys uh, got a mustard? Uh, spicy got mustard? Me, uh, spicy mustard? Like a Dijon mustard? Uh, Dijon. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't, I didn't mean to rub my foot me? on you, dude. Don't make a big deal out of um, it. But to answer your question, yes, I did have something before the top of the morning. What it was used, it? It used to be, I used just to a have shriek. a different voice. <laughs> just a shriek. <laughs> Just <laughs> But it went on for like 10 seconds. <laughs> and welcome to Happy Wheels. Just imagining that. Um, I, I used to put on like a voice because I didn't like my Irish accent. And I, it Would you make to, your voice deeper? Is that what you're talking about? Kind or? of, yeah. Wait, tall, like, what, like No, what? it used to be, hello, all you beautiful people out there. You can go back and watch it now. I'm going no to. No way. You did microphone reviews too, didn't you? Yeah, I did one. The road podcast. Did you do it in that Yeti. in that intro? Did you do the? I don't know if that was in that. It was so, a long time you, ago. I think you just said, "Hey." You can't go back to the very start because I had a lot of different intros back then. We don't. We've never had a super mega intro. We just kind of were like, "What's up, guys? What's I up, mean, gamers?" You don't really need one. That when I started like five years ago, that was the time when everybody had an intro. You had an intro. Yeah, you had you had all that jazz. You had like uh, just like basically like a a. a Brandable package. Yeah, back then everything was kind of it had to be a thing. Everything you did had to be your thing. That was a little thingish. A little thing we should, goes? Ryan, we should make an intro for Super Megacast from now on. What's up, cunts? Na, na, na. What was that? Oh, well that uh well that was like a little jingle, I guess. The one that was uh, kids with problems, right? Mm -mm. That was Super Mega. Kids with was guns. It? Yeah. Oh shit. Da, 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 da. How would yeah. how would people kids with problems? How would people react if you just started off with what's up, cunts? Uh, I don't think I mean, real quick. So whoever's reviewing it uh, to demonetize the video, be like, all right, that's demonetized. <laughs> Sorry, that's just that's, that's now. That's, I'm, I'm, it says the evolution of Jack Septicai, but it starts off with that. How is that the evol? Wait, hold on. Because that's me now reviewing old me. Oh, is it? oh, that's actually from your. Okay, do you do you look up? Look up. Cry of fear. Cry of fear. Cry of. I gotta say, man, your hair your hair is looking real good these days. My hair's long and greasy. Looks real good. Is just it like greasy? the first episode no, no, should be like good Joe. with that one? I think so, yeah. I like your I like your outfits these days too. You're looking real stylish. Thanks, boy. Feeling fresh as hell. You're looking fresh as hell. Do you smell fresh Hello, as hell? Oh, all you beautiful people out there. There it is. That's where it started. That's My name <laughs> is Jack Septic. Do you talk like that throughout the whole thing? Not really. It kinda I like the ambient effects. You oh. kinda do. I like the ambient effect. And that's why everyone thought I was a fake Irishman, because I thought I was American back then. Sounds like a uh, like a 12-year-old impersonating Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, though. Hello! The chemtrails are turning the frogs gay! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Speaking of chemtrails, I saw a tweet that uh, Kylie Jenner did back in 2015. I saw it today. Where she tweeted out this picture. Actually, let me... Let of me... chemtrails? No, yeah, she t she tweeted out a picture of of Kim trails in the sky in the shape of Kim's ass, and the uh, <laughs> this is this was before that whole trend. Uh, she, I, I I love how um Kylie Jenner, who was named wait like, 2015, was before that trend of Kim's ass. Kim's what? ass didn't uh, it didn't exist until last year. It, there was just nothing. It just appeared into existence one day. Huh. And then that picture with her with the glass on her back. Her okay. ass has always been a big thing, though. He's he's doing. You're, a bit. Are you are you? Fucking, I'm doing a bit. I don't know. Like it just magically poofed one day. Oh oh, I she's, get. She 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 yeah. held in a sneeze and it went. Boom. Um, <laughs> like a cartoon just. 
she 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 tweeted <laughs> this out. Boom, boom. So she tweeted out a picture of chemtrails, and it says, "Let's ask ourselves, why did I see seventy five planes spraying white stuff into the sky on my fifteen minute drive to work? Who pays for this, and why is it happening? Is something being exterminated here? Is that something me?" Does this have anything to do with why honeybees are dying off really fast? Why are some days normal with no plane spraying and others look like this? Who is responsible? What effect will this have on our health and our children's futures? And then all caps, who the F, uh, uh, who the, who the, and then censored F word, thought this was a good idea? Am I the only one who sees this? $900 million person. The, well, the thing that you can say about her is like, yes, that might have been a stupid thing to say, but you can also say that like, this is Kylie, right? Kylie. Kylie is probably also like really good at investing. And so can you, if you use Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought you were going to say, well, she was 14 at the time. So it makes sense. Because actually she probably was what, like, well, like 15 when she tweeted that. So yeah, we, you know, Robin Hood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell socks. Stocks. Stocks. ETFs options and cryptos all commission free. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. It's a non-intimidating way for stock market newcomers like you to invest for the first time with true confidence. Simple and intuitive. Clear design with data presented in an easy to digest way. They actually uh, they threw us some 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 stock share things and uh, they we we got an account with them and uh, we've been playing around on it. It's actually real real freaking cool looking at our stocks grow. Look at it's like water in a little flower. You come back, see see how your flower's doing. You is, know, is that a good metaphor for stocks? I would say so. It definitely looks really nice on their app they have. You're right, Ryan. It's easy to understand charts and market data. Place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Robinhood web platform also lets you view stock collections, 100 most popular sectors like entertainment, social media, and uh, curated things like female CEOs and analyst ratings of buy slash hold slash sell for every stock. I think Ryan should say more things now. You're right, Sean. Learn how to invest as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks and track favorite companies with personalized news feeds. You'll have custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood has given our listeners a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up at megacast.robinhood.com. That's megacast.robinhood.com. Sean's going to buy all of our stocks and uh, it's going to be like a little pump and dump scheme. So I'm excited, man. Cool. That was your nickname in high school, right? Pump and dump? Yeah. Why'd they, why'd they call you that? Because I used to jerk off everywhere. Sounds a lot like someone else I know. Man, you, got, what, why you, you you definitely look like a dude who just jerked off in school all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a bully laugh. <laughs> like that, that didn't sound like a genuine laugh. That was just <laughs> yeah, like, I, was just, I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what it sounded. I was like, I was taken aback at first. I bet you masturbated all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's face is just like, oh, brings it all back. I mean, I did. So <laughs> I can't. I can't. I did it again. A huge masturbator, dude. What if my laugh was like that from now on? Like I broke myself, and now it's like <laughs> <laughs> that. Was, there's a mixture of. <laughs> <laughs> what laugh, would that sound man. like, Matt? That sounded just, can you replicate my laugh like the best you can? <laughs> it's you, not bad. Something like that. Sometimes and then, it's very like shrill. Like it's a very sudden like <laughs> like Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't both, know. Of, both of you <laughs> I, Both of you and Tucker sound the exact same when you Tucker, laugh. okay, Tucker's laugh, I can never tell if it's a real laugh or a fake laugh, because he <laughs> his fake laugh is like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like that. It does sound just like And like <laughs> when he does a fake do it, laugh. Do it again. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta warm up for it. When he does a fake laugh, it's the exact same as his real laugh. So when he does a real laugh that's like that, I'm like, is he being condescending or yeah, is he actually nothing, laughing? He doesn't sustain his laugh. It just comes out and then he's I know he yeah, goes back like, to what? straight phase. He goes, hmm. That was a good joke. I like he, that. He likes sighing a lot after laughing. He's like, hmm. <laughs> he's a sociopath. A true and then sociopath. he just stands there and goes. Mm. Mm. He's so proud smile. of his laugh. The thing with Tucker is that he he laughs and then he he does the thing and You're all all the time he just and it's just thing and, and it's, it's, it's uh, great it's great and then you go and, uh, <laughs> it's a perfect like they just you I don't have know to if stop I'm talk, him. Am I talking to Tucker right now? You're talking you? to Esteban. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's a movie. I'm sorry. It's a movie showing this weekend and. uh 
I don't know. Maybe and you want to see. If you want to go, you guys can like jump in my car, or you can like go on your own. That's up to you. It's you can do what you You've want. You've got That's his good. speech pattern down perfectly. <laughs> his brother talks just like that. <laughs> he does. He was on the phone with him, and I was like, "What the fuck?" His brother walked into the office it's like once. talking with an echo. Yeah, I was just like, "Whole." I thought it was Tucker because they look so similar. Yeah. They have the same mannerisms. His brother has short speak hair, though. the exact same. Yeah, Tucker's got that long hippy dippy hair. He's got that hippy dippy haircut. It's hippy dippy bullshit. Really not PC of you to say. What? You can't say hippie dippy. They hair. used to dip the hippies in tar. No, I'm sorry, hippies. <laughs> <laughs> they used to tar and feather the hippies. What if I got like really into like hippie culture and I put like Grateful Dead posters up and grew my hair out and wore like those little like rose tinted glasses? I think we should all become what are they called? Juggalos? YouTubers? Juggalos, yeah. Gigolos? No. <laughs> Let's be, okay, we'll be Juggalo Gigolos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, there's a song Groupies. I There's a market band. for that. There's definitely a market for Juggalo Gigolos. You think you're the first person to think of that. You think you're a genius right now. But You thought of it. I didn't think of it. I, I said Juggalos, and he said Gigolos, and you said Juggalo Gigolos. Well, I was fusing two trains of thought. Juggling Gigolo Juggalos. High five. High five me, brother. Oh, there it is. Bro I did me. it. I did Bro it. Bro fist me. He I'm... Uh, Catch jiggling, juggling, gigolo, juggalos. Jiggling, juggling, gigolo, juggalos. Name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> There's your laugh. <laughs> That's it. Can we can we name the episode that? Yeah. If, you if it's want. not we, too long, we, throw a few words out. Can whatever. we name the episode Ryan's laugh and just put in a soundbite in the title? <laughs> I, I wish. I wish we could do that. I wish it was just like. I wish we could just put a gif as, as the title. <laughs> You know, remember when like on on like Twitter and YouTube and stuff, you used to be able to make your profile picture like a like a GIF. Remember that? Yeah, Ross is still a GIF. Yeah, it's crazy. Like it. Uh, well, on certain sites it is. We on should, mobile, I don't think it's a oh, GIF. Let's jump on a computer, Twitter, right? And Twitter you used to be. It's able to, yeah, yeah, and YouTube. Because I remember those YouTube channels that animated. I I had one for a while. Um, took me like six hours of googling how to like make a GIF when I was a kid, and I figured it out and I made it my channel thing. It didn't. And then you made a Shane reason. Dawson video. Well, I did do that. Do you know Shane Dawson? Have not, you met him before? Not, no, I've never met him. I've talked to him a little bit on Twitter. Could we maybe, could he do a reaction video to my Shane Dawson reaction video? He doesn't do reaction videos anymore. He's could, higher key than that. Could we get him he on does, to talk he about He does good content now. videos and... Documentary interview things. He did one, though, with Tana. Does he still do them? He's doing one with Jeffree Star right now. Yeah, he's doing a Jeffree Star one. <laughs> I saw something. Dude, Jeffree Star is rich as fuck. Yeah, he is. They open their closet and there's like, there's like, I, I didn't watch it. My friend told me that like, they have like seven million dollars or something to want like shoes or something. Yeah, I don't know. I just know Jeffrey Star is like loaded. Yeah, How he, had, Jeff- he had a handbag that was like thirty seven thousand dollars. Holy, he makes hundreds of millions of dollars a year. How stuff over a hundred million dollars a year? Stuff that cuss cuss that costs like thousands of dollars, like. Shane was like, what's this? And he was like, oh, how much does this cost? And he's like, oh, I, I can't remember. I, I don't pay attention to the price. I just get mm. it. It's oh like, my man. I mean, he used to be a big star back on MySpace. And then he had the music career that Akon signed how, him up for. What does Jeffree Star do? Watch what is, the Shane Dawson documentary and you need to find out. Like, how is this person rich? Shane sent Estevan here just to promote the new Shane Dawson documentary. He's like a whole warehouse that he like does merch for like everybody. He's like West Coast it. Customs merch and everything in his warehouse that he sends Good out. Lord. That's where the money is. And you can buy your merch at supermega.com. <laughs> we actually don't have supermega.com. That's a very expensive domain name. It's like yeah. very expensive. So really? Yeah, we... Uh, you gotta nut up and get your domain back. Supermegawebsite.com. Go all, go all alpha on that Let's website. Let's buy supermega.com.com. Okay. What's bigdicks.com? What's on bigdicks.com? Search it. Okay. I'll search it right now. Do you know? No. I just hope that it's just like a picture of a... Like a never-ending penis that you scroll down through. Bigdicks.com. You know how people like sit... Like they park domain it names? It took me to a site called mygflikesitbig.com. Hell yeah. Can I get some virility pills to get my dick bigger? It's one of these sites. What is it? It's just a bunch of, it's like you click on one and then it'll probably... Oh, is it just big penises? The never-ending ad loops? Yeah. Yeah. Download this video. Download this video. It's Remember like, when I you know were teenage- in a video. Can people not tell the difference between a video and a picture these days? No. Remember it might have worked were- earlier on in, in the internet, but now well, it's like dude, six tell. sixty year old dudes on the internet trying to look at some porn. They're like, I'll yeah. Remember when this. you were going around looking for porn and you like saw the thumbnail for one? You're like, I have to watch this one. This is the one. You, you spend all day looking for it, and then you find one, and you're like, this is the one. And then you click and it, it takes you to another site, and you're like, maybe it's in here. And, and you click it again, you know, and you got you just, malware. Yeah, and you, you got super mega downloaded. Teens fucking big cocks. My GF likes it big. Sluts sucking huge dicks. Big cock fucking videos. Tiny teens fucking big dicks. My, my fa- big dick 
GF porn. My, Those are all the tags at the bottom of the website. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing right now is on Tumblr. There's like porn bots. And every now and then you'll just see a picture and it'll like in your tag, it'll just tag it with all the popular tags and try and hit anything. But you will go down through like, I'll search for my stuff and I'll go down through it and all of a sudden there's a picture of like a lady in a bikini and it's like, want to fuck her night. pussy? Wait, Do really? it now. <laughs> and it's like, like I was Did going you? down through it and like a lot of them are just random models or porn stars or whatever. And then one of them I was going through was like Jessica Negri. It was like, want to get with her? She wants to fuck now. And I'm like, <laughs> that's weird. I know her. It's like, that's weird. I, uh, um, I want to be, I want to be the guy that like photoshops those porn ads. But it's like, it's like the, it's like the, the, the small guy. dick, big dick. Yeah. Where it's like, it's like, they just make a three frame gif of where they just make the dick bigger. Yeah. Like by just, and you can see the pixels getting bigger and stuff. Mm. I love that. I, I would love to design I'm going those. to Matt Watson's penis.com. I saw Matt's dick. You've Matt. seen both of our dicks. We've actually... We've all seen each other's we've dicks. We've all seen each other's dicks. Man. What if we all just got our dicks out right now and the audience was like... That wouldn't be shocking. Because no. they can't see it. They yeah, can, they would just... Could, hear, they, could they, you hear the sound of my dick popping out of my pants? They, 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 I want to try to just... They'd hear it <laughs> unfurling and hitting the floor. I just want to... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to kind of... Hold on. How do I do this? How do I... How do I just just rip your pants down. Nope. I could hear the slap. I could hear it from here. You could hear it slap the floor because it's so long. It, it just went <laughs> like uh, like xylophones and then. Pah! Dude, I'm still wrapping it around my arm like you do an extension cord. Actually, I got like, it's like Kratos at the fucking chair. <laughs> yeah, just it, a big dick. If I if I press in, it does like what a uh, what a measuring tape does and goes. <laughs> sometimes it whips my hand. That shit hurts. Back and forth whips my hand. <laughs> Did you sing Willow Smith on my podcast? I, Yo, did you see Big Willie went on a vacation with his family recently? Was it on his vlog channel? Yeah, it was on, it's on trending. My son is gay? OMG! Was that a video he did? No. Oh. <laughs> that sounds, the fact that you asked is like, <laughs> like, that sounds like something he would do. Yeah, it's the thing. It's like, like I don't know. I, I watch his, we watched his vlog channel once. High production value. <laughs> was he it? is very likable. OMG whiz Smith. boy, OMG! Oh, from I am uh, here today with... Senator, well, no, not Senator. He was Sheriff, Sheriff. Joe Arpa. I do have to say, Sasha Baron Cohen's new show, Who's America, is fantastic. I love Sasha Baron Cohen in general. He's great. Yeah, his it, but but his new show. Have is you seen it? Real no. fun. Oh, I seen clips. You sh you should you should see it. It's Ball just so thing. cringy though. I can't sit there and listen. I to love people cringe humor. Seriously, talk like that. <laughs> it's like how how are there people that actually believe this shit? Another episode this Sunday. Yeah. Woo! And then after that, Better Call Saul. We we Better Call Saul. Our, oh my God. You know, I was I was really defending Breaking Bad, but like looking back and kind of going like I was watching scenes from past Better Call Saul episodes again, like on YouTube. I went down that rabbit hole, and then of course seeing this new episode and just seeing the tone of it, it just it is up there with Breaking Bad. It is it really it is. is. I equal. fucking love it. It is equal. The only way I think Breaking Bad is winning right now for me is because of nostalgia. Same, same. So I have such a strong nostalgia for it, but I need to rewatch it. I've only seen Breaking Bad uh, all the way through. Once. Oh, I think it's when it like four or five is when times. it finally aired, and that's when I, like when it finally you know the, the the finale aired and all that. So that's the last time I actually yeah. Saw it. There's lots of good shows on right now. That Better Call Saul. I, I recently watched uh, the first season or the only season so far of the show called Pose on FX, which is about like the AIDS epidemic in the in the trans and dragon gay community. <laughs> that's awesome, Matt. But um. Uh, thanks for thanks for listening to the podcast. We had a great time. Uh, we had a great time with our buddy. Um, what's your name? Estevan. Estevan. Fabian. Estevan. Where can we find you, Estevan? Uh, on Pornhub.com slash Matt Watson. Okay. Someone's going to grab that link now. <laughs> can you? Is that a thing? Can no. Can make it's custom a... Pornhub links? No. If someone made a user named Matt Watson mm -hmm. on Pornhub. No. <laughs> I don't know. Should I grab that now to be safe? Maybe. People just start uploading <laughs> super mega videos to Pornhub. How do we two, outro two twink, Two twink boys. We're not. We're not. You're you're a folks. twink. You're yes, not, you're not a twink. I'm a bear. You're apparently. an alpha. I wouldn't say I'm an alpha. Yeah, he's a beta. I'm a bear. I'm you're a beta an bear. You know, if you don't want to be a beta anymore, you can take Alex Jones supplements, which we have some because a fan sent them to us. They I'm taste a, I'm, so bad. I'm a zeta. What's a zeta? Top of the food chain. It's not true. You're lying on the podcast. You just said what's a zeta, and then you said it's not true. You well, don't even know what you're believing. Well, I'm an alpha and omega. I'm the beginning and the end, bitches. Talking about the end. 
It is the end. It got it. It's the end of the podcast. That was a good, g- great segue. It's Estevan. almost, good job, it's almost like I'm a professional. You are. I have you're... to wrangle you boys together. Oh. What, you think we're not professionals, Sean? You I mean, even, you don't even have supermega.com. Okay, because that shit's okay, expensive. That's a bit low. We don't I mean, have we money. Don't, we just don't have the money to afford that yet. You know who just got a dot com? Your boy. What is it? Going up tomorrow. What is it? What is it called? dot com. Wow. As tomorrow, as in Saturday or Thursday. like the gym? Okay, so it's already up. So people can go check it out. Yeah, can't they? you can buy your PMA merch. You can get tour tickets. Well, that's well, where you can not find get ahead them. of ourselves. You don't. You should probably buy our merch instead. But that's we don't have our merch up at all. Save you the would money. if you got supermega.com. Save the money. Yes, but we don't. Are you? Are you guys okay? Do you need money? Yes. If you okay, so bad. Okay, like real talk. Can we? Can we cut, can, no, cut the yeah. mic. Cut the mic. Uh, let me cut the mic real quick. Okay, so um, it's bad. We're a bit like super mega. We spent a lot. Um, on a what? lot. On what? It doesn't matter. It kind of matters. We're being audited I need right to know now. If it's going to happen, we're being again. audited by the IRS, and it's not a big deal. But we have no we, money. We still. We like. We just need like. We're like, 50, 60 in the hole right now. I say just to cover it because of taxes this year, we would need a, a good like a, around a hundred. Uh, well, I need to know what you're into. If, if I give you this money, I need to know it's not going to happen again. I mean, it's not. Yeah. It was we. It's just you know when you, when you first start off and you start making YouTube money, you just kind of you just blow it, and we got a little ahead of ourselves. And no, that's not what happened. You're supposed to like, put it in a pot, save it, pay your taxes. Why? Well, I, I just gave a bunch to a bunch of Kickstarters. There was one for like a really cool sweater where, where it like lights up. He gave like three thousand. And, and like to it's it. a live feed of Donald Trump's Twitter. But why did you spend super mega money? I thought it was cool. Why did of you course spend it like failed, com- why did you spend company money? What money is money, like, right? Because like I, I need to pay rent with my money. I'm not gonna use my money for fun stuff like that. But so, he just got evicted. But did you actually get like the sweater? Did you get to make a video of it? Well it's not out until like twenty twenty. It actually failed. But they don't give you your money back. So, some do. I mean maybe I, And I actually gave there was like forty grand and I I got that we got this email from I don't know how I fell for it, but I honestly thought that this Nigerian prince, um, this royal royalty, emailed me, and I. He looked real. He had an Instagram and everything. He really did. Him. And I sent the I sent the I, the wire transfer of about all the super mega money. Plus, actually, I just you sent him a few. Uh, I mean, there was a lot. It was a lot of money. I get it. I mean, I like I put up an iPod Can on s- like an advertising website before to see if someone would buy it, and somebody bought it for their like yeah son and he said he was in nigeria and i sent him so got no you, money for it so do you think you could like snap cash us that two money two hundred thousand two hundred thousand just snap cash that I, i'll give us. you 250 just to cover it okay thank you just make sure it's not like direct to our banks or direct to like paypal yeah, the irs has snap a magnifying cash. glass right now we are okay. being audited like I'll, i said I'll just, so. straight cash bag okay all right cool okay let me, all gonna, right well let's okay i'm gonna turn on the mic yeah. on. Let me get back in position <laughs> okay, so thank you for joining us again. I we had a great time uh, talking no problem, with you today. Guys, it was fun and uh, yeah, true, man. Seriously, thank you so much. We, for coming we definitely want to have you on again or do other stuff. That's not just talking into mics. We could do fun. Uh, we could we could uh, end a podcast together. Fucking perfect timing. See, my watch beeped, so that means I just a pod. Out of my chair. Which that means, that I'm means to end it I'm I'm podcast. leaving. See you, Matt. Should I keep it going or should Bye, I end Matt. it? Uh, if you keep it going, I'm gonna cut it off at some point. When okay, well, I want to talk about something very serious, actually. Okay, bye. Um, in November, the U.S. primaries are coming up, or the midterms, actually, 